Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this week's episode of YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming, the what -um news presents, coming soon to a console near you. Very Ooh. forceful. Like, Very forceful. I like love it. it. Like reading. <laughs> I like that. I still have from someone, so. But as usual, you know who we are. Jeremy Bird, the biggest Zelda fan in the world, coming at you once again. I'm joined with my two best friends in gaming. First, to my left, he only is the host with the most, Mr. Fedora Bobby Pinman himself. <laughs> Mr. I will PS. tell you maybe one day. Eventually. <laughs> I hope so. Maybe. Maybe not. Mr. Pete Anderson. What's going on, guys? And to my right, he only has the best ponytail in the business. It's fabulous. He didn't say it's all right for once. Thank you. For <laughs> Mr. Nicholas Days. How's it going tonight, everybody? Oh, man. Well, we what? did get him a shirt that said it. I still love that shirt. I still have that shirt. I would hope you didn't. <laughs> I would wear one and pass it to the side. Love it. Love it. Best birthday present for you ever. Oh, absolutely. And the only downside is the, the video game world is back to swarming us with another fucking week of multiple upon multiple. Oh, my God. Don't worry about those. Is there another page? No. That's the crossover. <laughs> but we got a lot of stuff coming up for the week of March 20th to the 26th. We first start off with Neptunia U. Uh, fucking. Neptunia U. Uh, <laughs> fucking. Uh, Neptunia U. Action Unleashed for PC, bro. PC, PC bro. bro. Woo -hoo! Oh, man. Um, it has nothing to do with the Wii U. We talk Didn't this come out like a couple weeks ago on a different platform? Probably. Probably. Maybe, Maybe it was the Wii U. Goes. No, it wasn't a Wii U. They don't get that. <laughs> Nintendo gets shafted on everything. Which you'll find out coming later in this week. We also have 101 Ways to Die coming out for PC, bro. PC, PC bro. bro. Woo -woo. PlayStation 4 and Xbox. It's coming out for PlayStation 4 and Xbox later in the week, but I said, fuck it. It's just put it all in one. I hate repeating myself over and over again. Gotcha. gotcha. 101 Ways to Die. 101 Ways to Die. I thought it was 1,000 Ways to Die like that show on Spike, yeah, but yeah. now it's completely... Good show. You ever see that show? Yeah, I used to pretty watch awesome. that show. Pretty, pretty awesome. Did you ever see the one where the guy that built the automated lawnmower and it like whoosh, took no, him out because he fell one. down? Yeah, he built an on a lawnmower that would automatically detect if anything was in the way. He fell down in his room and it came after. This him. was on a thousand ways to die. Yeah, my favorite had to be um, the guy who two friends hanging out. We'll make this quick. Two friends hanging out. One buddy keeps bumming cigarettes off him. He keeps because they're hanging out in kiddie pool because they're drunk rednecks. Whatever. He keeps dropping the cigarettes in the pool because he's all fucked up. His friend gets pissed off. He takes a shotgun shell, cuts it open, dumps the bullets out, puts the cigarettes in there, puts the bullet into the shotgun, and shoots his friend in the face. You want some cigarettes? Boom. And he's got one, two, three cigarettes in his face. Nice. Smoking causes cancer in more ways than one. That's why we vape. Anyway, we also have collateral damage coming out for PlayStation 4. Talk about collateral Real damage. damage. <laughs> of all the things. Nice segue. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even planning it, but... Oh my god. We also have Day of the Tentacle Special Edition coming out for PlayStation 4, Vita, PlayStation 4, Vita, and uh, PC, bro. PC, bro. Woo woo! Tim Schafer's game. I love fucking Tim Schafer. Um, I'm more <clears throat> excited for Full Throttle that's coming eventually. Nice. But uh, they did this last year with, if you remember, Grim Fandango Remastered. Yes. Yep. They both had it for the PS4 and the Vita. Show them up to that Vita. That's so, of course, you got another great game. From the guys from Double Fine. It's going to be great. Yeah, Definitely Day of the check Tentacle was a classic. Did they do right. Psychonauts? No, Double Fine did something else. I'm sorry. No. That was something. Uh, no, they did. That Psychonauts was Double Fine. Tim Schafer's little baby. Waiting for number two to come out. Love and the it. VR. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll later. talk about that later. Okay, we also have Dragon Fantasy, The Black Tomb of Ice coming out for PlayStation 4. Woo! Black, nice. Black Tomb of Ice. <laughs> That sounds so interesting. Oh, yeah, it does. Let's For, give me something good. <laughs> the fans want something good. Fallout 4, Automer... Ah, uh, fuck... Automatron. Auto Thank you, Automatron DLC, coming out for Xbox and PlayStation 4. There we go. There we Fuck go. yeah. Something. First, something. The first of the big... You didn't play it. Season pass. You have nothing yeah. to say. You didn't play it. It's your game of the year. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fallout 4, first big D DLC... After they moved up the price, because if you remember, the price until March uh, 1st was, I think they were 19 or 29.99, and they bumped it up to 50, uh, 49.99. Because this was be a big, big, big expansion. Yeah, because they were going to build on it. So the first one, so if you got it early, definitely look forward to that. That's going to be very good to check out and see. Gives life to Fallout. I'll know? let you know how it is. More life. Yeah, I haven't played Fallout 4 very much since I got it. I played it a little bit and I still love it. Yeah, I, I like the game. I just, it, it's so in-depth that I yeah. just haven't. Same thing with Skyrim. Like, I just, I played it, I enjoyed it, but like, I was just like, whoa. 
way too much stuff going on. Yeah, I, really, I, I really can't sink myself into this unless I'm going to lose myself into it. Yeah, I, you got to pick the right day and just yeah. do all that customization, all that building stuff. I just like doing the missions. But we have Lichdom, Battle Mage coming out for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Very nice. Battle Mage. That sounds interesting. I like it a lot. Um, let's see if I can do this. Nelly Kudalot, the Foul Fleet coming out for PC, bro. PC, PC bro. Mac, woo, woo, woo. Mac and Linux. Mac and Linux. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a computer game. Yep. Um, we also have Out of the Park Baseball coming out for PC, bro. PC, PC bro. bro. Woo, woo. It's a big baseball week. We also have, speaking of baseball, we also have MLB The Show 16 coming out for PlayStation Ooh. 3 and 4. I don't care. Let but, the, uh, 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 for the baseball know. fans, MLB The Show. The only baseball game to get. Very cool what they're doing this year, if you guys didn't know, which you don't because you're not baseball people. What they're doing is like real-time stats. So uh, when you do the, di- uh, the Diamond Dow- uh, Dynasty, um, basically if you have a player, and I'm using an old player. I know he's retired. He's a manager on the Detroit Tigers. My favorite player of all time, Brad Ausmus. Okay. Say Brad Ausmus is still playing to this day. Now, he was a all right hitter, but say he gets on a hot streak. That will reflect in the game in real time. So he'll be able to hit better in the yeah. game? Yeah. Nice. So he'll become to be able to hit better in the game. Oh, nice. So, nice. But if he's in a slump, say you have um, Cabrera, one of the best baseball players right now. Say he starts to be in a slump. Well, guess what? He might have been your number one pick, but he's starting to slum down. It will affect him, and he won't that's be able to hit as much. Nice. You see, that's right. like interesting stuff that I can appreciate in sports games. You know, actually reflecting the player as they're playing mm-hmm. kind of kind of gives you a, a sense that oh wow, you know, this guy isn't playing that well this 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 week or the the yep. series. So let me let me switch over to my my backup hitter. Oh crap, he's not playing well either. I have to work on my my uh, defensive play then. You know, um, or, or yep. you know you know exactly. what I'm saying. And like, then you have a free agent who's been hot. You pick him up, he could just go ice cold. And then you maybe lose somebody that, you know, yeah. it's just a very cool dynamic that I know a lot of best. And it, it'll make fans you think do. about, it'll make you think about your trades and what you're mm-hmm. going to do a lot more uh, seriously before yeah. you do them. Because now it's not like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not that They're great with this that guy. They're setting that stance. So, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just going to let him go. But I now I've got an outfielder that can fucking catch anything, so let me let me use him. Yep, exactly. You know, as, as a defensive player. And I only picked him up for 200000 you know. Yeah. And then next by next year, hope. Demand more, but you know what? Is it worth in the long run? Yeah, you know. The other game now, is it going to also include like what their salaries are and stuff like that? Yeah, it's basically, it's the players. From what I understand, and let me know in the comments if I'm yeah. wrong on this. You basically have the player. Cabrera is set when the game releases. Yes. But once you go into Diamond Dynasty, which is the big mode in the show, is once he starts going. That's when the salary will stay the same, but say he goes on a cold streak and they're like, you know what, we're not going to give you tens of millions of dollars this year. We're only going to give you a million. It's sh- what, from what they're saying, the guys from the sports, it's going to affect the The trade, would, would, you would see that reflect in a yeah. trade with another. Nice. Yeah. I like that. Gotcha. All it's right. much more like real-time baseball, All which right. is very nice. That's good. And I know baseball fans, are he- like oh, anybody yeah. that watches baseball loves those statistics. They yeah. love statistics. That's why the guy at GameStop, when I was talking to him, he was so enthralled by it. He goes, you have to check this out. And to see, like, great hitters, you know, could go on a cold streak and totally kill you out of the play. Look at if you're, if you're with your buddies and you're doing a diamond, uh, the dynasty, you know, and then all of a sudden the players go cold, it affects you to go into the playoffs, yeah. World Series, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. The opposite of that game is we have RBI Baseball 16 coming out for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3, which... Every year, like you said, it's always two games. It's MLB and it's RBI. Or there's other some other competitive game that always comes out every year for baseball. But, I mean, when it comes to... I mean, the show is exclusive to PlayStation. You're not going to see it on Xbox. But it is the baseball game. Yeah. And, you know, it's they don't have competition. Same thing with Madden. They have no more competition, you know. EA is different with the 2K series and NBA versus NBA Live. But, you know, everybody tends to go to NBA 2K because it's the far superior one. Yeah. All right, off that topic. We also have Republic coming out for PlayStation 4. Republic. Republic. Republic, excuse me. Republic. It is the France. We also have, what? what is it, our racing game of the year oh, finally comes yes. out? We have Trackmania, Trackmania Turbo coming out. Been waiting. 
what was it, almost a year we've been waiting for this yeah, game? Yeah, something like that. June. Whoa, whoa, June. Think, they co- announced it yeah. at E3. Yeah. So, yeah. Almost so, a year. Almost a year. A couple of months shy, but finally we're getting it. I know we, we, we love this game strictly because we were tired of the same old kind of racing games. Right? So we were just... We were just Sick and tired of dealing with the same old racing games, and we just wanted to move on and, and get something new, like 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 a uh, Mario Kart. You know, Mario yeah. Kart's or a racing game, but it's it's fun. Burnout. Or burnout. Oh, that's just yeah. beat me too. Yeah. It's always you know, it's 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 nice to see a new game that comes out, and it's not just focused on oh, we're gonna give you the exact specs of the yep. fucking show. Customize for speeds, the Forza, yeah. the Gran Turismo. You know, we we the we, crew and all that shit. So. A lot of us just want the fucking the experience of racing, mm-hmm. and we're not really into to the whole fine tuning everything. So Trackmania looks like it's going to be good for both people, yeah. you know, where we can have fun playing and we can do our our standard setups or advanced setups or whatever we want to, but really it's the track that's going to be yeah. that's what the I was gonna main say. character. It's, it's going to be the mania of Trackmania. Well, no, it's going to be the main character yep. uh, in, in, in Trackmania is what kind of tracks you can build. Yeah, that's I saw that come up this weekend. I'm like, yes! Finally. Yep, yep. Definitely going to pick that up. We also have The Descendant coming up for PC, bro. PC, bro. Woo-hoo-hoo. No, cool. Um, can you tell me to just skip those games? Fine, fine, boy. We also have what I'm looking forward to this week most of all is Hyrule Warriors Legends for 3DS coming out. They took the Wii version and they expanded on it to the 3DS handheld. You got a couple new characters. Linkle. Fuck Linkle. <laughs> Link, Linkle. Lazy ass fucking writing on Nintendo's end. We Linkle. need a girl name for we need a girl name for Link. Linkle. Link. L. <laughs> Linkle. She looks she Let me put it this way, Pete. You know what she is? She's the what? she's the Oliver Queen girl version. Because she's an archer with double crossbows. Game looks good, looks more polished. The only problem I have is if you get it on the um regular 3DS and uh, and not the new 3DS, the graphics are scaled down. Well, that's of course, and that's the frame happen. rate's going to be slower. No, it's, it's a big thing. There's no stuff. Nintendo cross platforms it on the two different systems. Yeah, but, but you can't, you can't, you can't have the same. You can't have the yeah, same. Yeah, I saw that come up, and I'm like, that's a downer. So, but what do you expect? Yeah, we also have Killer Instinct season three coming out this week. Gotta love it. Not a big Killer Instinct. Neither fan. am I. I'm not but you know what? It's showing <laughs> the Arbiter <laughs> is supposed to be in it. Yeah. Or he is in it, the Arbiter from Halo. Is he? Yes. Yep. That's nice. So that's that's a cool little homage to show, yeah, hey, yeah. We, we're only here on Xbox. Yeah, yeah. So for that's people nice. who are excited, season two, uh, season uh, three, I believe that season two was just released free on gold a couple months ago. It was. Might um, I picked it up, but like I said, I'm not, I try to fool around with Killer Instinct, but I'm it's not, not a my big fan. I'm Killer not, it's a good game, it's fun. It doesn't feel technical enough. Yeah. yeah. It just feels like you can button match. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's like... It, from what I understand, it's a very base, a big combo based game. But and I don't do combos for shit. So after playing Street Fighter Five, especially with you, sir, it just it's Street Fighter Five. I just feel flows better than yeah, it what just, this does. Well, that's what I mean. Like it feels more technical. Street Fighter mm-hmm. Five feels more technical, and I appreciate that. Whereas Killer Instinct just feels a ba- a button masher could accidentally beat you in in, in Killer Instinct. Um, yep, yep. not technically, because I did play the demo at Evo two years ago, and it was me versus some random guy, and just to kill one health bar took at least five to seven minutes because we had no idea what the hell we're doing. And then a year later, we were watching the tournament, and goody health bars are going down like boom, 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 combo breaker, combo breaker, combo breaker. I'm just yeah. like Jesus. So definitely a must play game. I'm probably not. <laughs> we also have um, Resident Evil 6 coming out for Xbox One pl- and PlayStation 4. Now, this is a part of that Resident Evil 6, yeah. t- Resident Evil 5, the and the one that everybody wants that's coming out in fall, Resident <laughs> Evil 4. Resident Evil the nice thing with Resident Evil 6, though, all the DLC, all the yeah. game, 20 bucks a pop for each of them, definitely. If you've, I'm actually interested to pick it up, because I always wanted to play Resident Evil 6, but I heard the horrible reviews... So I was like, let me not I actually grab liked, it. I liked Resident Evil 6. I hated 5. 5 I could not play. Do you think I should pick up Resident Evil 6? I would because you said, like you said, the whole DLC and everything. And I would 20 definitely bucks? Play. 20 bucks? If not, I'll give you the 20 bucks. Fair <laughs> enough? Well, that, that sounds like a great deal for me. <laughs> then you give me the fucking game. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll play it again. And then last but not least, we have The Walking Dead Michonne Episode 2, Give uh, excuse me, Give No Shelter. Um... For Xbox, wow! For Xbox, PlayStation Four, Three Hundred and Sixty, PlayStation Three, PC, Bro, iOS, PC. and your mother. So. <laughs> uh, Telltale doing the Michonne thing. Three episodes only. Usually they do five. Yeah. Only three. Um, second episode very fast for Telltale. The first one just came out about a month and a half ago. Very fast for them 
doing this. Um, but it's a nice little homage, you know, before we everybody gets into Walking Dead Season 3. Like I said, it's only 15 bucks for a season pass for Michonne. I'm not going to play it, you know. I've started to wheedle down on my love for um, Telltale, you know. I might, the next one I might pick up as the Batman one. That was going to say, yeah. But besides that, it's... Yeah, I'm, 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 like I said, you know, people are getting sick of this, I feel. I feel people are getting sick of it. It's too much, too much I think it's starting to, to reflect um, in, the, in the atmosphere, especially after Firewatch. Mm-hmm. I think people have become like, uh... I can't do this anymore. I can't do this episodic, short, I can, short-lived stuff. I can give you my favorite example. Is I've never played a Telltale game. Let me phrase it. I played, I played episode, oh, excuse me, I played Walking Dead episode one. That's, I played it, and I got bored with it after like a couple hours. I've actually watched a Let's Play of the game, and I watch it on one of my YouTube channels I watch. I watched straight through all 25 parts, the decisions they made, whatever, and they're like, all right, down the road, we'll do episode two. Episode two came out. I watched ten minutes of the thing, and I'm like, I, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Well, season one was season fantastic. one. I'm like, I, season one. I'm no, just, I couldn't get into. It. I'm like, season two. I'm like, I, just, I can't do this. Episode two. I can't do this again. But uh, we got a very, very exciting week coming up. Oh, so exciting! What is it? Divided United Week. Divided United. Which one is it? I don't know. We don't know. We'll discuss it this week, in this week's series. As always, <laughs> my, I will be taking Monday. I'm going to talk all about Division and some interesting facets. What I think about the nice. game, playing it. What I think that now that reviews are starting to come up, as we see this, big sites like you know the IGNs, the games, took over a week to put out their reviews. And the reviews might surprise you. We also have on uh, uh, Wednesday. We're going to be talking about PlayStation and Xbox cross-network playing. Fuck it. Oh, Final. <laughs> you got the Divided. We got the Gamers United Online, which I'm very excited for. This story broke last week. And I've just been booming to play this, to play, to talk about this topic because it's big. Not even because Nintendo got fucked as usual, but honestly, they always take it in the butt. Yeah, they do. <laughs> but no, the fact that like it's unheard of. You're gonna actually if you two. Uh, we'll we'll talk about it. I'm so time. hyped. You see, <laughs> he's excited. He's so excited. So, and <laughs> and on Friday we have the rift coming. We're talking about the rift that has become that has begun. I'm sorry. <laughs> has uh, begun. So so you've got divided Wait. or division. You've got United, and then I'm bringing the Rift back, baby. And we're going to talk about the new um, player on the field that's yep. going to gonna come the week after this week. And we're going to see how that's going how that's going to shake things up in the industry, in the gamer community, and in, in, in all of our lives. Because this, this is the this is, passageway this is, to the new world. This is big. So if you and, like what you're hearing, definitely hit that subscribe button. We'll have that all Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all for you. It's going to be a great conversation with great guys. Amazing. And as usual, guys, game game on. on. Okay, Daisy's Jesus. As usual, I'm German.